Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Primal Liquid, bringing you another Borderlands 3 Legendary Guide. And the weapon we're going to be taking a look at right now is the Dictator, a Vladov Assault Rifle. And trust me when I say this thing is a monster, especially for somebody like Zane or Moe's. This thing will mow them down. And of course, I mean, just look at that. I mean, look at that golden white trim. Like, that is just, that is sexy. Like, how can you not say that is sexy? That looks amazing. And that's its default skin, by the way. That's not using, like, the pre-order gold skin or anything like that. That is how it always looks. Anywho, with that said, let us jump into what makes this weapon absolutely brilliant. Okay, so first things first, it's a Vladov, which means it does have a high fire rate, and it also has two firing modes. I'll talk about the two firing modes momentarily, though. First things first though, when it comes to the damage, you can see it has times three. Now, this is unique to this weapon because what it, do, it does is it will shoot three bullets out at the same time. One will go directly straight and then the other two will sort of veer off onto the side, basically creating like a like a W shape, pretty much. And the further the enemy is, the wider this W will get. So the further the bullets travel, the wider it gets, basically. Which means this is pretty good against like large mobs or mobs that you're kind of close to where all three bullets can hit at the same time. The accuracy and handling is pretty good. The reload speed is nice and fast and it does also have a large magazine size. Now the red text says let them hate me so that they will but fear me. Now, I'm not sure what that's a reference to, I'm afraid. <clears throat> I couldn't really find anything out online, uh, so I'm afraid we're all a little stuck there. When I do find out, I will put it in the description, though. Anywho, as for the special little quirk of this weapon, it's actually related to the bipod, aka the alternate firing mode. So because it's a Vladov, you can press down on the D-pad to change its firing mode. It doesn't have rockets or a taser or anything like that, it's just the bipod. However, when you use this bipod, it pretty much removes all recoil, sway, and makes it pinpoint accurate. Not only that, it turns the original three bullet spread into a five bullet spread. In fact, no, it might be a little bit more than five. Maybe I should have counted them. But either way, the spread is insane. This thing will let you mow down groups of enemies just effortlessly. And even with those five to six bullets, you're still only using one shot from your magazine each time. Now, this is absolutely best used in things like uh, the trials, especially on sections where enemies are all spawning in together. Simply due to the fact the second they spawn in, you start going at them with this and they'll all be getting hit at the same time. And because of its really fast fire rate, it will just mow them down. So, how do you get this? Well, that's the thing, it's an open world drop, which, like all other open world drops, the best way of getting this is from the Chupacar Bridge. Now, the Chupacar Bridge, or from now on I'm just going to refer to him as the Chupa Bro, is on Athenus. About halfway through the stage, you'll get to the, uh, basically the split in the road, the fork. You can either go along the big long bridge, or you can head left as if you were going towards the cemetery. Head towards the cemetery, as soon as you go up the first set of stairs, immediately look to your left and you'll see a small vaulting ledge. Vault up and there is the Chupa Bro. Now, of course, because this is a world drop, it might take you a while to actually farm it this way. However, the Chupa Bro is absolutely the best source when it comes to world drop legendaries. Make sure you play on Mayhem Mode 3, though, for your extra chance of getting it. Uh, on Mayhem Mode 3, this guy will drop legendaries like 2, 3, even 4 at a time on pretty much every kill. So it should not take you long to get this legendary. And it's one that I do highly, highly suggest actually getting. With that said though guys, that's why I'm going to end the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, then be sure to hit that like button and leave a comment down below. And of course, remember to subscribe for more Borderlands free content such as legendary guides, leveling guides, farming guides such as iridium and money as well. But as always, thanks for watching and I will see you soon.